thank you uh, for joining Goya product reviews where we, we review products so that you have more information about the products. I'm joined again by my friend Trevor. And Trevor, what do we have for the products uh, today? So today we have the 30 PK toothpicks. 30 PK toothpicks. Great. And um, I see that they're packaged very this seems really good packaging. Yeah. Um, is there other side to it? Uh, yeah, so you can see the back side. Um, also says 30 PK toothpicks. But it also has some kind of code on the back. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't list the ingredients. But you do see there's the American flag uh, with the 13 stripes. And there probably should be 50 stars there for the 50 states. I haven't counted them, but I, I imagine there is. And it's weird that made in... Ch Minch, what is that? Uh, so that must be like Chicago, because I don't imagine uh, American flag toothpicks would be made anywhere besides the U.S. of A. Okay, what I like about this packaging, yeah. the, uh, we're going to break into these in a second, but what I really like is that there's not a lot of malarkey. Yeah, it's no malarkey. No, it's just toothpicks, dollar, there's a couple crazy symbols. I wish there was some directions of some sort. But. Yeah, I, I'm with you there, but um, can we bust into them? and? Uh... So let's open these up and actually maybe we can figure out how to use them once we open them up. Okay. So the top is cardboard. Go on. Uh, it appears to be stapled around a plastic container, and you can open these up. You got into those easy. Yeah, it was very easy to get into. Oh, shit, and there's two separate sets. Oh, I see how it is. Now there's... There was 30, so this one of these is probably has three, yeah. and another one probably has 10. Uh, yeah, or 27. Yep. Yep, so do we want to count them and make sure there's 30? No, we don't have time. There's only 15 in that first half, so I'm not sure. So what I'd like to do, Trevor, Yeah. I, I brought some food. Oh, all right. Because I think... Um, It doesn't say food toothpicks, but you would assume that um, toothpicks are for for food. I would think. Or after food. But let's assume these are for food. Okay. And this isn't meant to be... Um, well, I think it's good that given the times of today that we're, we have uh, Chinese food and American um Utensils. Yeah, I think that's a good Ut thing. Utensils. So show us, show oh, us. So go. I'm gonna dump some of this Chinese food. Go ahead. Into the plate. Mm-hmm. Can and you we'll move those in a little so we can see that get a good grip view? That's actually Ew. delicious. Mm. So we have some chicken. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna stick the American flag in the Chinese chicken. Mm-hmm. Chinese chicken. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know the chicken's from China? Uh, because of the box. Oh, okay. So oh, I don't think the chicken's from China. I think the recipe might be. I think we're doing... This is really, really good, I think, for... Um, I think we're... Oh, that's too bad that that one fell down. Yeah, we'll put a second one in there. Yep. We're making bonds. This, I think... I think it's good that we're showing that um, different... Uh, Areas can get along, and uh, you can see how the food that's not from the area that the flag's from works. Yes. I think it's pretty good. I think that's the unity we need these days. That's the unity. Thank you, Trevor. Anything? I mean, this has been a simple review, but a powerful mm -hmm. Reminder of where we are in the world and society. Um, anything, Trevor, you want to add? I just want to say, despite how many flags we've put into the Chinese chicken, we still have a lot of flags to put into other countries' foods as well. Yeah. Leftovers. So. And the Chinese probably have more food to have flags put in them. I so. think so.